There it goes. Okay. I'll say your best. Your best not lose. I just had it. All right. Game will save automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half to complete home in a single sitting. Oh, don't you worry. I will. All right, and we got turn up sound. Ah, oh, that seems pretty loud to me. Seems pretty good. I don't know. What, what do you think? Too loud? Too soft? Let me know. All I remember at that point was finding myself alone. I click. Oh, oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. That house. Where was I? Can I not? Okay, I can't. It's, it's with the right mouse button. Okay, that's weird. But hey, this is all mouse so far. There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? <coughs> this is a very loud game. Oh, I'm on... Bed. Oh. Yeah, very loud game. Okay. Stairway down. I will not take advantage of. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could re really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset she looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, trying to find a way out. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. An odd dining table, an old dining table covered in dirt, dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and, the, and other liquor bottles among the dishes. Smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife. I guess. I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did you take it? Yes. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. That's a lot of stairs in this place. A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic, but exhausted. Do I free it? Did I free it? Um... Sure. Fine. Why not? Can I move? Thank you. Just go upstairs and check the other door. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp, smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? A photo similar to the old one I picked up. It had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Do I push the switch? Yes. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Something must have opened somewhere. Yeah.
desk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Yes. Receipts, pins, and a blurry photo look like a store of some kind. What did this photo look so familiar? More mud. Blood on- oh, it's blood. Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. Keep going. This picture? Maybe there were scribbles of all kinds of random scraps of paper and notes about some kind of water tower. Did he mean the one by the old drain yard? Hey, how long had I been here? Rotting. The man upstairs didn't look like he'd been dead a long time. I looked like hell, my clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck, but the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. The switch in the wall appeared to have unlocked the door. Excellent, excellent. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I'd found a way out. I must have moved it, right? I left it alone, but I couldn't think of another option. Fine, I just want to explore a little bit longer. Get a little bit deeper into this. There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I could only make a few out a few of the notes. Keycard, Ocker, last one, I promise. I didn't make such it didn't make much sense at the time. Are these games all part of the same anthology or something? I don't think so. These are all just short horror games that I have planned. That I've never played before and I've been meaning to. Since I have been neglecting my spook tax this October. Right. Oh god. Hey, there's the mouse. Alright, well, that's the kitchen. Not much here. Oh, did I? I didn't. I did not change the uh, thing. My bad. Oh. Is that it? No, it did not. One momento. Or favor. Oh, yeah, it changed. Alright, cool. Back up. I had been sleepwalking again. Had I been sleepwalking again? Was that how I got to that house? The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning for him. There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture, and I knew I had to find another way out. I feel like a table would be easier to move than a big old box, but hey. You know best, narrator man. Nope, nope, this way.
The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heaved the box forward and finally and finally and it finally gave. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? Yes. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Footprints in the dirt looked like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Places all over were marked on the old map of town, the industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of a house. What the hell was that about? Maybe we should have looked around more and tried to find some kind of information. I looked around pretty... Okay, well, I should have. You're right. All right. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Yes, you did. At the very least, the handgun I have is a handgun they don't. I tucked the small handgun into my pocket. Its weightless was somehow... Its weight was somehow reassuring. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? A little more ladder. The desk looked old and was caked with grime. Oh, on it was a stack of old faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out and illegible. Notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. None of it made any sense to me. Uh. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. I don't know what that is. Some kind of homemade rack slung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was Kate with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Some kind of old boxes. They looked like they were years old. Wait a minute, these boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved it to town. What the hell were they doing here? Okay. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. I don't remember if I jumped down there or found another way. It looked to be a long way. Did I jump down? No. Maybe there was some other way to get down there without having to risk any more injury to my leg. Walk right over it. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yes. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. I had the rope now. There was must have been use for it around somewhere. The 
The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes. I could hear the faint hum and the smell from before started to get worse. A bunch of old newspapers wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out danger due to cave in. Oh dear, oh dear, oh my. Let's see. I see. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. I could have... If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such... Nah. At least I thought I had found that old handgun. At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had been unused already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet and there was uh, grass smeared within. Disgusting. It was a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? Absolutely. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Now we just need a VCR player. I don't know if there was one back there. Oh wait, what's that? Oh! An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there? It was so high up that must have been a sore landing. Dear oh my. I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? Was it water trickling? A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it, it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Yes. I slipped the knife in my boots since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all this? Uh, more for me. More for me, less for them. Oh dear. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. I wasn't sure what those valves were for. Did I turn in anyway? No. I left the valve alone. Don't want to blow anything else up. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how to work how it worked. There. Still don't know how to use these. Okay, well. Door was locked. Is there a key I can find? Perhaps I just need to leave. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which smelled disgusting. I know I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. Okay. Next. Thank you. And that go over. Okay. Well, time to risk it all. The so one one. Thought I could turn this water valve to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes. Through the dust, I could see the handprints from previous use, probably from whoever worked in these sewers. Right. I thought I could turn this valve to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes. I 
that I could. Yes, 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 all yes. What do you think? Oh, look. Oh, okay. The valve was still active. Did it turn again? Yes. I see. I figured it out. The valve was still active. Do I turn again? Yes. I see. I see how this works now. So I can turn this water valve. Shut off slow. Do I turn it? Yes. The valve was still active. Do I turn it again? Yes. That uh, one's perfect. Uh, check that regular actually. Actually, actually, the uh, yep. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Right. Looks like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Hmm. There was a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the small key, but it was so odd. It was so odd shaped. I had no idea what it might open. I have an inkling. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. You know, I guess I'd use the items on Mac if I could. Huh. Wonder what else I could use the key. Hopefully it's coming up and it's not something I passed and I forgot about. But we shall see. We shall see indeed. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was that facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. One key, two doors, one key, and no fit for either of them. I found another dead body, a sewer worker by the wound by the wounds all over its face and body I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a key ring sticking out of his man's pocket. Did I take it? Absolutely. I thought about the knife the knife had found within with some disgust as I carefully picked the keys from the pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. Oh, key. Camera. There was a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what had happened. Maybe the VHS ta tape I found could be useful? Maybe. Uh, down we go. Hey, oh, this key? I used the key ring to unlock the door. The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organized, though covered in dust. Looked like the tape I found was the one that was missing from the shelf. There was a dusty VCR the security on the security desk. I wondered what was on the VHS tape I had found. Did I play the tape? Yes. <laughs> Oh no, the video showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched, like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. I couldn't stand to watch the video again.
I tried a bunch of the keys on the key ring I had found on the sewer worker, and one of them seemed to fit. A collection of stale liquor bottles covered the floor. Killer. The wall was littered with dozens of old faded papers. Whoever did this was obsessed with some local murders. According to some of the clippings, bodies had been found in ravines in the forest and in one case, dumped in the back of an abandoned truck. I couldn't be sure, but I thought some of these same articles had also been pasted up back in those tunnels. A faded receipt was half trampled on the floor. It was from the local train station and was for two tickets. I didn't know what use it could be, but did I keep the receipt? Yes. I neatly folded the soiled receipt and slipped it into my front pocket. I don't know what use any of this is really, but you know. Why not? I'm sure it's not encrypted. Fuck me. Oh. Oh, it got me. Oh, it got me so good. I wonder if it's going to incriminate me as the moiterer, since I have the knife, the gun, a receipt. I just have all all the, the tellings that I, I did the deed. Even if I didn't do it. Did I go in here? Hello? Yes, I did. I did indeed do ba do ba do ba do Oh no, you going this way? <clears throat> hey, it's another another thing. This must have been the other end of that ventilation shaft. Whoever used it could have gotten past that flooded room with this. Hmm. I see. I would need that gun or that knife before. Would I need that gun or knife before the end? Both weighed me down and aggravated my legs as I climbed the old ladder. The thought of that videotape still gave me chills. Who was it that didn't want me to be seen? Was it the same person that hid all those clippings away in that locked room? Suddenly, the awful smell of that sewer gave way to the pine-scented blast of fresh air. Excellent. The lid had fallen on the entrance there and was stuck shut. Go this way. Oh. Hello. An old ladder leading up to the ancient water tower. The ladder needed to be extended so I could climb it. Did I extend the ladder? Yes. I popped the latch and brought the ladder down. Poison? I tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddle in the sewers. It fit, and I heaved open the rusty door. The wind was picking up a bit. The night air had become strangely chilly. Go back. Let's go back a little bit. Let's back, back, back it up. Another door. This must have been the entrance to the forest that was mentioned on that map I had seen. Whoever was poking around these tunnels underneath that man's house had scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here, the sign pointed out various campsites and working walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. Not so many paths. I gotta go to the key one. I just gotta go to the key one. At least first. First I gotta go to the key one. Maybe then I'll go back to the other ones. Very loud. This way first, and there's nothing. Good. Excellent. The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increasing wind buffering. Oh, 
buffeting the decrepit structure. An old ticket booth that looked fairly ruined. Inside the ticket window were sheets of paper and... Wait, what were these train... What were these? Train receipts? I thought the receipt I had picked up might match these, but of course not. This station had been closed for years. The ticket must have been for the newer station that opened up on the other side of town after this one was abandoned. However, I noticed a series of fresher looking paper covered in tiny notes scribbled in diagram. Scribbles and diagrams. It looked like someone had been leafing through the old ledgers, looking for something, a name perhaps? Okay. An old map encased in glass hung on the wall. It was the train routes connected to the old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, the map I found in those tunnels had similar locations marked, and the notes I had found on the other man's bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower and even this train yard. What was he doing coming back here? The old train was ripped open and hanging from a shred of metal, as well as broken fence. It was, er, as well as a, the broken fence was a dark stained patch of cloth. It looked synthetic, like some kind of outerwear. Inside the train shell, I could see a few faint impacts, like wounds. Could they have been bullet marks? Was somebody shot there? The ground was well worn, though I couldn't really make anything out. I realized I was touching the gun I had found as a thought. Or as I thought. It's getting colder out there and I had to keep moving. Alright, cool. Then we'll go to the water tower. I swear that says poison. But who knows? Hey, nothing. In a patch of smeared dirt and grass, there was a beat-up old wallet. I thought it was mine. Did I take it? Yes. I slid the filthy wallet into my back pocket. You don't want to check it? I noticed it didn't contain any kind of gun permit. In fact, it didn't contain any cards of, or ID of any kind. I thought I should recover my credit card and driver's license at least. From the railing, I could see over the woods and down to the entrance to the sewers. Had I come here come through there before? If I did, someone definitely could have seen me. Nothing else, alright. God, there's so much. We will go in order. Well, that makes things easy. Uh, trampled into the dirt and grass was a plastic card of some kind. I brushed it off and was surprised to see it was my credit card. I wasn't sure if it was still usable, but it was mine. Did I take it back 
Did I take back my credit card? Absolutely. I boxed it at the credit card. Hopefully, I could find my driver's license, too. Anything else? Yeah. Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated elk building. I wonder if I could find my way around. First, let's go back and check for my ID. Mounds of Doit. Oh, we yeah, got so many bushes. Oh, hello. There was a fire pit there. It was still a bit warm and a few embers burned at the bottom. Two folding camping chairs were on the ground. One was knocked over. There were a couple of cans of beer spilled onto the ground. The cheap dome tent slept two people. I shone my flashlight inside and could see some bedrolls, two backpacks, and a cooler. Where am I? Dirt? Okay. There were some personal effects shoved into the bat, into that rock. Wait, there was a notebook there too. Did I read it? Yes. Inside the cheap dollar store notebook was a page after worn page of names and lists. None of it made much sense. The newest page contained several names. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. Rachel, her name was last on the list and had a mark beside it in blue ink. The names Daphne and Olivia had been crossed out in the same blue ink. Cheryl, Heather, Rose had been crossed out, but these marks looked older and more faded. Back out to this one. Uh, oh, hello. No, no. No, no, no. Don't. Something. I have yet to find my credit card, but here we are. The grimy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. A musty wooden plank propped up the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? Yeah. I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. Why not? There was much in the way of clean water there, but the sink did work. Okay. Okay. So what do I need a plank of wood for? If anything. We got bugs, we got that. I think I came from that one, so we'll go into that one. Uh, rocks, good, good. Oh, this is new. The sign was the same as the first one I had seen. This must have been the exit to the other side of the woods. Excellent. I had finally found the exit. Once I left, I knew I'd never wanted to return there. That's fine. Oh, well. Come on, open up. Through the dense trees, I could finally start to see some light. I must have been at the edge of the forest, though I wasn't sure where the path ahead of me led. I could almost feel the cryptic notebook in my pocket as I tried to think about what it could mean and where the campers who had abandoned their site. Where were the campers who had abandoned their site? Would I meet them too? Though the path ahead of me was still... was less dense. One second.
All right, cool. Uh, do, do. Uh, when I meet them too, though the path ahead of me was less dense, I still felt guarded and wary. Who knew what was ahead? As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a machi machinist, mechanist, for the, all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago. Now, time so were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Oh, check that rustling. Ah! Ah! I had to press on the thought of that claustrophobic forest was too much. But the, the guy, the very obvious silhouette. My dude, my man, my guy. One of the lockers hung open, its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. There was a large power box with five lights on it. Cables burst out of the box, shaking off the other parts of the facility or the factory. I might, miss, I might have read that wrong. The metal was starting to wear, the cobwebs had collected on the corners. The box wasn't receiving much power. Alright, got it. That's a puzzle. I'll come back to that later. I got a whole offense to check out. Nothing here. Oh, hello. I found the body of a security guard just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. I wondered what this was this flashlight his. Oh. I dug into, the gra dug into the ground was a cracked old watch. First my wallet, now this. Did I retrieve my watch? Yes. The watch was useless, but I put it on my wrist anyway. Never found my ID. What a shame. Maybe my evil twin has it. After committing all of these murders. The door was locked shut, and there was a little electronic box under the handle. A sign was pasted on the front that said, Dangerous. Danger closed for repairs. The door was locked tight. It seemed to be connected to the power box beside it. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotted. I noticed the old bulletin board on the wall. The board contained yellowed clippings of newspaper cartoons and notices. There were notes that from there were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Norman took over a general store after the factory closed. He, Rachel, and I would get lunch every now and then. Rachel liked him because he seemed more positive despite the setback. I don't think I could say the same about me. Hmm, a power panel. Looks like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes. The open locker was stuffed with dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Yes. Nice. 
It was shut tight. There was a rusty looking card slot on the side. Ooh, if only I had my ID. Power panel still wasn't working. Did I try it again? Yes. Our old break table. The layer of dust and grime only made seeing this sting more. This was Norman's locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when he wor when we worked here. Another panel that I hoped could help me get the power back on. Did I push the switch? Yes. A utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Yes. As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. The locker was a complete mess, hidden at the bottom, though, oh, though was a mag, oh, hidden at the bottom, though, was a magnetic card. Did I take the card? Yes. I slipped the key card into my pocket. Another panel that I hoped could help me get the power back on. Did I push the switch? Yes. Power panel still wasn't working. Did I try it again? Yes. Power panel still wasn't working. Did I try it again? Yes. There we go. Another panel that I had hoped helped me get the power back on. Did I push the switch? Yes. Power panel still wasn't working. Did I try it again? Yes. All right. Hey, I think that's everything's working now. <clears throat> I struck with the hammer. The old wooden boards came apart easily. After I had removed the planks, I left the hammer on the floor. This was my locker. In the factory. It stank of booze. There was a picture of Rachel on the inside. It it looked like it had been torn up. I thought I had taken that picture home when we when the factory closed. There was a mess of empty booze bottles. I wondered if that man in the house had something to do with this. He sure had a lot of alcohol at his place. The key card I found seemed like it would pass through this reader. Did I use the key card? Yes. I slid the card through the old reader and it turned and turned the handle. There was some kind of ventilation hatch here. It looked like I could jump to the room below. My leg hurt enough as it was, but I couldn't see another option. Did I jump? No. If I was to chicken if I was too chicken to jump down that broken ladder before, why do it now? There had to be another way. Okay. The door had somehow locked itself again. There was no keycard slot on the side. Oh dear. There's another door I need to check. I am probably stuck then. Alright. Doing it. Oh man, my leg hurt like hell. I seem to be walking with a pretty okay stride. The bottom of the ventilation hatch hung open. It was pretty high up. I wasn't sure if anyone could have got back up there. There was a crumbled up letter on the floor. It had been scratched out heavily and it was hard to make out. Did I try to read the letter? Yes. Most of the letters letter was violently scratched out with what looked to be a ballpoint pen. All I could make out was need to. Just don't drinking need Norman. Who was Norman writing to? I go, no. 
Well, that's a shame. There was a door I didn't go through because I thought this was the, uh, you know, optional thing. I stepped out of the factory, glad to be rid of its smell, of its memories. I couldn't stop thinking about the room with the bottles in it. Was that guard I found outside really drinking up there? What about Norman? And who had rooted through all those lockers? I couldn't tell where I was as I looked around, but I figured I needed to get to a road to get my bearings. Maybe Norman could help. His store wasn't that far from the turnoff to the factory, if I remember correctly. The garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food and slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner picking, poking out from one of the bags. It was my driver's license. It looked damaged. Did I take it back? Absolutely. I cleaned the card off as best I could. It looked pretty beat up. I was amazed to have found my credit card and now this. I tucked the card into my wallet next to my credit card. Lovely. Sounded like it was going to start raining again. Dear, oh dear, oh my. I had entered Norman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet except for a faint sound of television. The entrance to the front of the store was locked from the inside. It looked like I couldn't just pop it open. I needed a key. There was a bit of blood on the keyhole. What was this? It looked like a pull chain hanging from the ceiling. I wondered where it led. Did I pull the chain? Yes. I gave the chain a single tug and a simple folding ladder to the attic popped down. Come back to that. The TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. Oh no, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Norman, my co-worker and one of my few friends I had in this town lay dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been shot trying to get up. His eyes were still wide with shock. Norman, you deserve better than this. Did I close his eyes? Yes. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him... I'm not... I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace or if I just couldn't stand thinking... to think any more of what was going on. Quickly, I closed Norman's eyes. E door. Eh, why not? I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups still there in the wood. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? Yes. I found a hairpin amongst the rotten flesh and trash and pocketed. Rotten food and trash. My bad. Ooh, a hairpin. Probably can maybe pick a lock with that, perhaps. Perchance. Her maybe. Hey. Hello. There was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it yet? Yeah. Inside the old cardboard box was a pile of clothes, photos, and even shoes. As I looked closer, I realized they were Rachel's. What were you doing here, Rachel? Were you responsible for poor Norman downstairs?
I wasn't entirely surprised to find this there. It was one of Rachel's old fall coats. I always wondered what happened to it. How long had it been there? Inside the cabinet was a small but impressive collection of hunting rifles, shotguns, and even a few items I didn't think were legal here. One of the slots on the rack was empty. The gun I had found seemed to match the others there. If the handgun was Norman's, what the hell was he doing with it? The gun would fit there. Did I place it back in the cabinet? Here, why not? I carefully pushed the piece back into place and felt a great burden lifted. I used the hairpin to pick the lock. The hairpin snapped in half, so I threw it away. The general store was small, but it was clean. It had the usual things, postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. I sure there's nothing up. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape then. Hey Alex, how is your cozy? It had been weeks since I'd last seen Norman, and finding him that way still left me cold. Ah, it's good to have a good nap. Welcome back. Thinking of him slumped against that chair only cemented my reassurance in getting rid of that gun. It looked like somebody had taken that piece from his store. But why was it in those tunnels? As I stepped outside, I recalled that dis dusty old box of clothes in Norman's attic. Everything's going pretty good, going strong. Ordered some food. Hopefully it'll be here. Uh, like in an hour? I went with a rice bowl, because I couldn't find short ribs. Uh... The steel clothes full of green dust. I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers, but I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. Yeah. Uh, Novo suggested short rims because of all the bones, and if there's any night to have a bony d meal, it's, it's tonight. Which is weird, because I know there are restaurants nearby that do short ribs. I guess they just don't do delivery. See anything else I can look up? TV, that door. Alright, well, let's. It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. That was. Now I gotta go back. That door only led me back. I had to find my house. But I, I want to check out other things. Okay. If you say so, game. The gate was locked tight. It wasn't my house. The neighbor's lo neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone had pushed it all the way in. Or hadn't pushed it all the way in. I know it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Yes. The envelope was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore open the package. Well, I just wanted to look at the letter. You didn't have to do that. Norman, I'm sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did, well, it was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out away from you both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him. Norman, so... Don't you think you so don't you think you can hold that against me? Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure. I even want to, but 
Oh, I'm not sure I even want to, but he deserves at least that much. Goodbye. Oh, well, that's that's not great. Oh, dear. Oh, I've done a moita, haven't I? Perhaps a double homicide. Who knows? Let's find out. The truth will be upon us soon. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of voting, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. Oh, the purple in there. What's that about? I held my breath as I approached my hour back door. I was terrified to step inside. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and strained. I flickered the light switch by the door. The power was off. I remember having breakfast here on this very table. Was that yesterday or sometime before? The door to the basement, it was locked. Where had I put the damned key? There was a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? Yes. I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? The front door was locked from the inside. I couldn't go out through, though I needed to see if Rachel. Oh, uh, I couldn't go out though I needed to see if Rachel was here. Okay, that's a weird front door you got there, but okay. Okie dokie, we're going. Can't go through there. The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. I had found the last missing piece from my wallet. The old photo of Rachel and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. I didn't make it didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Do I keep it anyway? Yes. I replaced the photo in my wallet, feeling like I had got a part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Our television had per just I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but then it was too late. But by then, it was too late, I guess. That's how that sentence should have gone. As the sounds grow louder in my ears, thumping against my very being. The books there were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like the man in the house had some of the same books as I did. My wife's Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed, but I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it? Yes. Inside Rachel's suitcase were a few days' worth of clothes, some personal effects, and a train ticket. As I stared at the ticket, I could feel myself flush with anger and resentment. The date, the time, matched the receipt I had found. It all comes together. The truth cometh. The truth always cometh. Our hallway mirror had been smashed, its pieces scattered around the floor. Our sink, which needed to be replaced, one of the Taps always stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw foot bathtubs. My laptop had been left on and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. 
There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the key. Unlock the basement door. There are old Christmas decorations in the box. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take the key? Yes. I took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. I had put up this divider wall last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall is poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. I... Why'd I have to leave the hammer? Let's see if I can find... Let's see if I can find something heavy enough. The front door was locked from the inside. I couldn't go out through, though I needed to see if Rachel was here. She, I checked everywhere, right? Did I have gone through here? The, oh, the grimy key I had found in the basement locked this door. Okay. I looked, it looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I take the crowbar? Yes. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciate its weight. Alright, one last place to look. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes. With the heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down here? Was she okay? Don't look. Don't look. A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped into the corner. The stench of them was awful. It made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within. But I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all this searching. After all I had seen. When I looked within the rags. Did I finally find my Rachel? No. The rags were wet, matted, covered in dirt and grime, but inside the tattered mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. If she wasn't there, where, where was she? What I had been searching for this entire time, I remembered the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I had been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there, and I won't find her anywhere else because... She was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs, the pain in my leg just a dull ache now, and sat down in our... my bedroom. My mind was spinning, and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all this. I must have drifted off. I, I guess these books were all actually mine then.
There's my wallet with the, with its contents intact. Either I dropped all that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman's store, that forest, the water tower. Was I at all those places before? Yes. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? It was the photo of the other man and his wife that I found in that house. Were these really his wife's remains in those tunnels? It certainly seems so. What did I think? Did the other man murder his wife and bury her in those tunnels? Uh... Yes? Sick bastard must have. What else did that mean? There were some question, questionable things in those tunnels. What else was he wrapped up in? The shards that broke the mirror, I could see my face, gaunt, gaunt, now hollow and sickly, and immediately and immensely troubled. What other illusions that I dreamed up? What other truths were waiting to be exposed? The dirty fa in the dirty faded glass, I looked like nothing more than a faint shadow. I used to tell myself that Rachel was the one who wanted to keep the tub. It was the key card I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. It seemed to me that it was probably Norman's, but if that was true, what was he doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? No. No, somebody else was using that locker room, but who? The laptop had finally run out of power. Hey Jasper, how you doing? Getting in my way at this climactic ending of the game. I see how it is. I even cluttered up my, my keyboard and desk so you wouldn't have any room. But you found it. You certainly found it. Eh. It was the letter I had taken from the post box. It had gotten a bit wet in the rain. But if... Well, who wrote that letter then? Who was Norman seeing? Oh no, Norman. If I was wrong about Rachel, then what about him? Did I do that horrible thing to him? Yes, I, I must have. But why? Did we fight? Or was I tricked into thinking he was sneaking around with, well, with Rachel? What was happening to me? I had that old TV for so long, I don't know if I could ever, ever replace it. My old office safe sat on the floor. It used to be. It used the digital passcode lock. Did I try to open it? Yes. I. No, that wasn't it. Damn, I couldn't remember. Try and find it, I guess. The eight names written alongside those old marks in different colors were printed in that notebook. Okay, well, we gotta write this down. Yes, yeah, but you sleeping on my pen again. Yep, there. Are. Heather. Olivia. Ashley. Cheryl. Well, uh, food's ordered. It's still on its way, though. It might take a little bit, in an hour or so. 
But awesome. How's the 80s music and studying? Let's see. Iris. Daf. Knee. Holly. And. Rose. I recall the name that's all scratched out in that old desk deep within those messy tunnels. Was the man in that house really up to something? Now let's try. Hold off safe, satin floor. It was used to pass good luck. Did I try open it? Uh, yes. Okay, let's see. Let's try letters. So, Heather is seven. Olivia is six. Ashley is six. Cheryl is six. Four. Six. Five. No, that wasn't it. Damn. I couldn't remember. We'll come back to that. Babies are surprisingly... Resilient and fragile at the same time. What is your studying involved? Do I need to call somebody? It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back to the basement. I want to know what that code is, but I don't know how to get it. The pile of mail on the floor I na now saw was addressed to me. Bill's credit card offers a letter from the bank are all addressed to me. That was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house a moment longer. Did I leave and stay goodbye to that nightmare forever? No. I didn't deserve to go. Not just yet. I don't know if it's a puzzle. I just don't, like, there might be info I'm missing or something. Can I leave from here? How many breakfasts had I had eaten there? Completely alone. I must have locked the door. There was no reason to return to the backyard anyway. Studying medicine? Ah, yes. I think, like, people in general are resilient and s fragile. Give them too much of something, they're gonna n not be good. But give them the right amount, they're gonna be okay. If I was guilty, I could take this as a warm, safe... I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it? Did I pick up the knife? Yeah. No, no. There were other means of dealing with this. I'm not, I'm not gonna seppuku. The wall was cracked and pitted. I was told by an inspector the basement had been partially filled in before I bought the house. But by the look of that wall, I was going to need the fixed foundation. Can, can, I, can I go through here? Everything smelled musty old down there. I just have... I just really want to open that safe, but I don't know the number. Eight. And there's no, like... Inventory. So it's got... If I might have missed it, maybe? I'm all... I'm all... It's just kind of a environmental horror game, I guess. Like, a, a general unease. Ah, this is actually a very difficult thing to find. That's the whole thing. I gotta keep looking around the house, I guess. Wanna read all that? Where'd he go? Uh, 
this game simulates the feeling of being mid-twenties and not knowing how to do your taxes. Kinda. Also, maybe I did a murder. Maybe someone did a murder. Potential murders all around. I don't know. I was trying to... Alright. And you could say that there was a computer thing. How long had it been left running? No more I can do here? Maybe not. Okay. Uh... I just don't like Wait. Uh, I don't... I am at a loss. I want to see what's in the face, man. I'm, I'm a dirty little cheater, but I'm doing it. Oh, wait, what? Really? How long did I... No, I don't... Yeah, I don't... Hmm, I just don't have the option, I guess. That's dumb. It makes me sad. I guess maybe I miss the safe on my first time through. That's why. Yeah. Well, right now I'm just trying to get an ending. Also, hey Jonah, how you doing? But I can't open the safe. Like I can't get the safe. Yeah, I just want to open the safe, buddy. But it won't. All the safes down the floor. It used. Ah, uh, sure. Nope, that wasn't it. Well, that was my last chance. That was, that was it. All right, well, we're leaving. I'm out of here. I'm gone. It's, I don't know what the fuck's at. I don't know if I missed the secret or what, but I just I can't can't spend any more time in here. I gotta go. I got to go. Gotta go out there and live my life. That was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house a moment longer. Did I leave and stay goodbye to that night forever? Yes. Since I had arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in that plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that, it was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense sometime after that, and my memories of what happened are still f in flux. I suppose that was when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened? Everything I'd seen? You know, in a way, I almost wish I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. That man I'd found in the old house had killed his wife. I was sure of it. Just as sure as you killed mine. 
After making it out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I had watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was attacked? And what had I been doing in Norman's place or even in that old forest? It didn't look good, that's for sure. Had I been responsible for what had happened there? What do you think? Was I guilty or was I just mad? That forest, though, was no escape either. That notebook especially left me troubled. I remember seeing a similar list on that desk back in the tunnels. Who were the girls mentioned there? I suspected there was more to, the, to those woods than I knew, though I had no intention of going back. But anyway, Norman, couldn't have been the one going back to the factory, so who else could have done, been? Maybe that other man I found? Or maybe it was just the guard all along? You know, you've really screwed me up. I feel like I can't trust the damn thing I've seen anymore. I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point until the factory, things had only gotten worse, but then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and doubt started to set in. That's when my perspective on all this really started to change. Norman, you bastard. I had killed you, and it was clear to me why, now why. You had taken Rachel from me. You were going to take her away altogether. In the end, you got what you deserved. But as painful as it as all of that was, oh no, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I had seen and done, finally coming home was supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. I had no idea, though, that it was only the beginning. When I had first stepped through the kitchen door, the silence had been unnerving. But to think that I went through all of that completely unaware of what I would discover. Had I killed Norman thinking that he and, well, that there was something going on, everything that I had held dear and true was now spinning around me. I had nothing to ground me, nothing to give me purpose, or even the fancy, faintest hope of reason. Without Rachel, without what I thought was Rachel, I was lost forever. As the door swung open, I could smell the damp grass and the closeness of the air. After everything, it felt like I had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth. I'll give you that. But now I was completely lost. You took away the only thing that had kept me going. I was sure word would get out, and soon enough the police would come looking for me. And what then? Would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? Jasper, my god, please. Stay off the desk. Like, oh my god, stop it. All right. That was home. It sure was a game. It had some pretty spooky moments. I don't know if there is like a true ending or something that I just flubbed up, but uh. Oh, maybe I'll play it again, try to get a better ending. A more cohesive ending? I'm not sure. It's definitely a unique horror game. Wow. Watch out, Nancy. The end. Wow, that took like exactly 